Fancy intro music, yeah! Woo! Hey, welcome back to the channel where today we're taking a look at the Klingon attack cruiser, the Vorcha. Now, I know it's listed as a battleship, but if you watch Star Trek, you know it's an attack cruiser. Just ignore the fact that they had to fit it in with making it work in the game. Because there's a cycle, like if there's an explorer, there's an interceptor, and then there's... Anyway, if you notice, the Klingons are going to get the battleship in the uncommon tier, and then they'll move on to the interceptors at the very end, and that's how we have it here. So with the Vorcha class, I'm excited, because I love repping the Klingons. It's my favorite race in all of Star Trek, no matter the series, no matter the movie, that's what I'm always repping. There's a reason that I'm holding a Batleth in the thumbnail of this video, because I'm obsessed with the Klingons. I, I just love the culture, love the lore, love the, the coloring i mean just it's it's reds and and darks and pretty hues so how can you not love it but anyway all that stupid rev intro stuff aside we're going to take a look at the vorcha the level 53 uncommon five star ship now obviously i don't have one shout out to two whales who have made this video possible number one ska who you remember from last week's video where we covered the romulan version of the uncommon ships You'll see that a little bit later today. And then also Huck. Huckster has one as well, because apparently one whale's not enough. All the whales need to get them. And you know what? I simply love them too, so why not? And in the background, be watching a video as you saw the intro to today, getting to see that Vorchok coming out of the dock. Well, why not do it again? Why not watch that Vorchok come back out? The prices, by the way, if you are a dolphin or a whale looking to go up there, they have started lowering some of the build costs for some of these ships. If you remember that well, the Nova was like 137 billion dot lithium to build at one point. Now it's down like 1.8 or 2 billion, depending on researches and things like that. So they greatly lowered the cost of some of the ships to build them and get them out of the dock. Cause I know that was a big pain point for a lot of players. And if you're a lower level player looking to get there one day, that's good news that already they've had like a 10,000% reduction in price to build them, not, not to upgrade them, just, just to build them. But anyway, absolutely beautiful ship. As you can see the Vorcha here, and we're going to see it in space compared to some of its counterparts, as well as starting to see some of the upgrades that, you know, in terms of cost of what you're going to get when you're putting this Vorcha out there. And it's crazy because, you know, you'll see these max tribunes, but a tier one Vorcha coming in right at 50 million for Ska here, who was very kind to take this video. Remember, Scopely, get this man his own system. Get this man his own galaxy. He deserves it. Make his own faction. All right, that's a little bit much, but anyway, you can see the basic stats here. We'll go over some of the stats with Hux version, which is a little bit higher in terms of tier. This video is showing a tier one Vorcha, and then we'll have a video showing a tier five Vorcha to show you the comparison of how quickly this thing scales and grows. Because, you know, you, you talk about the Corvix. We talked about it beating Max Tribunes. Well, the Vorcha is no different. Max Enterprise A's, Max Tribunes, Max Hectas, this thing can put in some mad damage, and it simply looks beautiful in dock. I don't know what it is. We've reported the problem waiting on the engineering team for Star Trek Fleet Command to fix it. But right now, out of dock, all the five-star stuff, skins and ships look very, very blah. And you can kind of see that here where it just looks really blocky. There's the Corvus right next to it, that's Sky. And yeah, it just doesn't look that great in space. But I feel like for me, and this is just my opinion, of the uncommon ships at level 53, that is the best one. I mean, the, the Vorcha looks so good. It's straight from Star Trek, so you know it's going to have a pretty good model because it made it into the show where some of the other designs are inspired by games or, or just completely new designs that they came up with themselves, which is awesome. I have no problem with that. And Star Trek Online, I feel, has done a good job of bringing in some new ships that they designed and, and it all worked out. But for here, I feel like the Vorcha is one of the best looking ships in the game. And I'm, I'm glad it's existing. Yeah, simple as that. Now let's take a look at a bigger one, which is going to be a 72 miller, 22 million in four tiers. It's insane. But here is a Vorcha right into a PvP situation with uh, Mazri. 
Level 35 Augur has no shot. No shot. So this is mostly just to show it off. The major power difference is literally 70 million. And we talk about battle strength not mattering. Well, when you're 70 million bigger, it kind of matters. Just just a little bit. You know, Unpu, Piquito, kind of kind of does. Yeah, there's no way to really, like, sugarcoat that. When you're that big, it hurts. That's what she said. <laughs> yeah, it hurts. <laughs> anyway. Take a look at say screen show. So I want to take you a look in the information panel and shout out to them for getting this to us. Shout out to Huck for having this ship available already. They're level 56 now. And look at the actual hull, shield, and defensive sizes. So that's gonna be your attack, then your shields, defense, and then health on the whole. 39 million hull health, which is an insane number. 20 million attack points. This thing can put out some serious damage. In the next shot, you'll see the actual bonuses and everything. You see the 550% officer bonus. And keep in mind that this is with a tier 5. This isn't even max tier 12. It's just tier 5. Armor piercing, shield piercing at 3 million. Why is that important? Because a lot of the big armadas and things that we have in the game now, remember that big mega cube we talked about being in the deep beta sector. Not the mega cube that wouldn't fault at the events of Borg that were really awful, but the one that was in a mission. It was 100 million, but it had 2 million of each piercing stats. Well, this thing is even bigger and stronger than that Mega Cube was, where there was a time when Four Star first came out, Kelvins couldn't scrape it, you know, Pelhams were struggling, and, and it took a long time for the Five Star or the Four Star Epics to really do anything to those ships. And then now we're sitting here and seeing these uncommon Five Star just be so ungodly strong. Still, in my opinion, too strong. In my opinion, still too strong. Next up on the list is we can take a look at the armor stats. 2 million armor, but only 78,000 shield deflection and 183,000 dodge. So, you know, it is, uh, you know, it's definitely able to go above two of the three mitigation labels. Now, keep in mind that with it being a battleship, armor is the most important one that you want to try to overcome. And obviously going to be the most difficult for you to do, but still really, really impressive there. And then look at this next one. This is the final one. You can see warp range at warp 360. Wow. Warp 360 at this tier, which is pretty freaking impressive. Remember, the maximum warp range in the system right now in the game with the new five-star everything coming out is warp 500. And I'm sitting here over at warp 75 going, man, I don't like travel times. Imagine warp 500. It's pretty freaking nuts. Anyway, let's take a look at some of the raw numbers of this ship before we get too crazy. Now, this is included and brought to us by ftfc.space. A shout out to Ripper for all the amazing stuff that they're doing on the web app. Really appreciate it. So the max cost. So if you want to take it from tier one to tier 12, here's the raw cost. Not max, the raw cost. Raw cost does not include researches or anything else that you have that can lower the cost of these. So all your pures, all the docs that would help with repairs, none of that ever gets counted when you're looking at these. But raw cost, just whew, 752 trillion Tritanium to max out raw and it does not count researches which will take that number way down 19 trillion dilithium to max and me looking at my 13.9 going yikes so <laughs> let's look at the uncommon battleship parts five star uncommon battleship parts by the way 4.36 million of those you remember how much of a pain point those are for level 40s gosh that's ridiculous wow okay it's not even the worst one, in my opinion, because now you've got 2.1 uncommon refined or right at 1 million refined three star. I'm sorry, refined rare five star. Oh, my gosh. This is so much. This is so expensive. But anyway, time to do this, by the way, tier up time, total tier up time for 12 years. I'm sorry, five years for 12 tiers. I, I can't even get my words straight because I'm just sitting here mind boggled at these prices. Now, I have to stress that research really improves this. If you remember the beginning of the video where we watched Scott build the Vorcha, the price was not that high. Because if you look on the screenshot, the price is actually listed in terms of what it costs. I think it cost, um, what, what did it cost, Scott? I think it was like 1.7 billion trit, you know, way less than we're seeing, and I think 357 billion dilithium. Well, you see the build cost listed as 361 billion trit and 8.7 billion dilithium as the raw bill cost now once again improvements have been made to all this changes have been made and then also research has a huge impact but just seeing the raw when you're sitting at my level going ha ah, never but maybe one day because i'm definitely going cling on now there's nothing that can stop me from getting a vorcha attack cruiser even if it's in 2024 
I'm getting one. Glory to you. I, just, I simply can't resist it. And you are. Whew. And this is not all the Klingon and Romulan stuff to come. There's more. Oh, wait, there's more. What do you think about the Vorchild? Do you like it? Do you enjoy seeing it? What else do you want to see from the five star ships? Because some of us, if you're like me, it's going to be a while for you to play with them one on one, unless they decide to come visit your base, which, in case that happens, shield. Don't share, just shield, because that Nova will take a lot from you at one time. If you enjoyed the video, smash the like button. I want to know what you think in the comment section down below. It's this box right down there. Live long and prosper. Stay safe with the Space Cowboys. We'll catch you on the next exciting Star Trek Fleet Command video and all things Star Trek. Remember, we've got new shows coming out. Picard's about to come out. We just wrapped up Lower Deck Season 2, and it's phenomenal. Can't wait to talk about all that and more coming up soon. Deuces! That's me. I'm Audi. I would like to request, request to Scopely to add more Klingons to the game. That is what I was told to do. And so I am doing it, which, you know, is not maybe the best thing as a leader to just do what you're told, but it seems like a good request to make to add more Klingons. Everything is better with Klingons. Am I right? I am right because I'm a Klingon. Klingon, mach, tach, judge. We are Klingons. Let it remain. All right. Laurel's on a roll today. She's very excited. An even better outro than the intro for the empire and glory to your house.